Hello, I am Luxbrush, and here are my thoughts on Nintendo. I've pretty much had every console Nintendo had since the first one was given to us by a friend of the family. I remember playing it on an old black and white, like, three inch screen. It wasn't that big. It wasn't that small either. But it, it felt like three inches. I remember playing Duck Hunt on it. And ever since then, I really enjoyed the company's hardware and software and I've pretty much taken every opportunity to buy the latest from them. I mean, I had the original Game Boy for the longest time until I broke it by dropping a 10 pound tape player on it, causing the screen to shatter, and that started pretty much my upgrade path, because ever since then I've been buying the latest model from Nintendo, well unless you count all the revisions to the handhelds. I've only got the major revisions of each, or upgraded because it was worth it. Well, the only time I've ever really done a version upgrade on the handhelds is when they went from the DS Classic to the DS Lite. And then I traded in my DS for the DS Lite so I could get a discount. And I've been enjoying the DS line ever since. And when the 3DS was announced, I pretty much jumped on that and got it when it came out. So yeah, ever since that point, I've been pretty much buying... Nintendo consoles every chance I get when I can afford it. I picked up a Wii U as quickly as I could because the concept was just so neat to me, being able to have two screens that are separate from each other, be able to use one to look around, select items when I want to, or just go and play in the living room outside of my bedroom, or just play with the TV off. I just thought I'd give you that little bit of history to give you an idea of where I'm coming from. If I could afford it, I probably would buy the other consoles. But I've always been tight on a budget. My friends who really liked the other consoles also said that my discussions with them about Nintendo were always very level-headed and not overly fanboy when it came to the system. I could always bring up the points that were good about the system, also bring up the points that were bad about the system when compared to the other ones, and give them a clear point of view on where I saw Nintendo. So I thought I would share with you the thoughts I had on things I see going on with Nintendo and pretty much the industry as a whole, but mostly Nintendo, like the fact I see a lot of interesting things that seem to be going on between Nintendo and Google. It's nothing really big right now, but I find it kind of interesting that a lot of Google stuff seems to be coming out on their consoles. For instance, that Street View app is pretty much just Google Maps on the Wii U with an enhancement to be able to use the tablet controller in a unique way. And the YouTube app supports being able to Chromecast to it from other devices and control it through your phone. So I find that kind of interesting, neat and interesting. It seems like Nintendo may be doing something with Google. Maybe nothing big, but also the fact that Nintendo is also working on an Android tablet currently for educational use only. But I'm thinking Nintendo's just going to use that as a testing ground for the idea. Because I can imagine Nintendo taking that ta basic tablet design, adding on really nice physical controls to it, and releasing it as a Nintendo-branded gaming tablet, which has their own version of their software on there, fully supporting the controls, and it also being a full Android tablet. So if you want to play Nintendo stuff, you just tap on the Nintendo section, and it brings up the eStore and allows you to um, download any of their games that support the tablet and also allow you to keep all your games there, sync them between consoles. So let's say you have a 3DS and you play a game on there. Your file will sync using your Nintendo account over to the tablet so you can continue to play on there. Also, it opens up the opportunity to have more wide variety of virtual console emulation instead of being restricted just to the 3DS or Wii U hardware, where they have to really fine-tune things, they could be a little bit more loose on the programming and have more of a general emulator on the Android tablet that will be able to run the games more efficiently, especially with Nintendo and their skills with honing and fine-tuning hardware. I mean, every one of their consoles has always been a really nicely engineered device for its time. Like the GameCube and its motherboard layout, the Wii and its layout, and now we have the Wii U, which is laid out in such a way you don't need a lot of fans to keep the system cool. Just need one pretty small fan. 
that you can barely hear because it doesn't need to rotate at higher RPMs to keep the system cool. And it's also kind of interesting to me that every time for the last, I think, two generations, maybe three, everyone keeps saying that, oh, Nintendo is going to fail, they should just make software. Why does everyone think that? Nintendo overall has a lot of money to throw around to test out things. I'm glad they're the ones that test out unique and interesting things. They have the R&D resources to be able to do it. They also have a giant war chest, which is a lot of um, open cash they can use to be able to try experiments like this. Also, before the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One came out, the Wii U actually sold better in its first week than both the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 from the articles I was reading. And I'm still trying to figure out how all of those people, those apparently 2 million per console, who could afford to buy an Xbox One or a PlayStation 4. I mean, they're both really expensive. I think it's mostly because Nintendo had a really confusing ad campaign and message when it came to the Wii U when it first came out. Most people still consider the Wii U as an add-on to the Wii, which it isn't. It's actually a whole new console. And I think that's mostly Nintendo's fault, because they never gave a clear message of, it's not just the controller, it's actually a whole new console. I don't think it was the name that really did it. I think it was the advertising around the name. Nintendo needed to be a little bit more clear on the fact that it was a separate console and not just a controller. I can see that there's going to probably be a lot of people buying those two consoles for the fact that they can do a lot. They're very powerful machines. I don't see all of this purchasing is going to last long on those two consoles. They're going to continue to be sold, of course, but I don't think the rate of being sold is going to stay at this high level. It's going to start dropping off pretty soon. I have a feeling that all of the people who are going to buy an Xbox One or a PlayStation 4 are going to pretty much buy it this holiday season. And after that, we're going to see it peter off pretty quickly. And over time, we're going to see the Wii U sales start to increase slowly. And we're going to see the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 sales go down for a while and start to come up eventually mainly around their price drops, but the Nintendo Wii U is going to continue a steady rise after this holiday season, mainly because Nintendo's doing a pretty good job right now on delivering a solid message of the Wii U in their current advertising campaigns I've seen. They've gotten together with several major companies. It looks like they're working with Disney to promote Disney Infinity, because almost all the commercials I've seen for Disney Infinity have the kids playing on a Wii U or talking about it at the end of it, and Nintendo's been doing a lot of advertising that specifically says to parents that, no, this is not a Wii, this is a Wii U, a new console from us. It allows you to play all these wonderful games, which there are lots of wonderful games out right now for it. No Call of Duty, real big third-party blockbusters like that, but a lot of great first parties, and there are some good third parties out there that are really nice on the eShop, like Mighty Switch Force. All of those games are really good. I haven't had a chance to play them myself, but all the reviews I've seen, all the videos I've seen of it, they all look good. The only reason I haven't picked them up myself is because, well, I'm pretty strong in cash most of the time, and I can barely afford the games I do get. So I usually target the ones that I know I'm going to enjoy the most, like the Marios, the Zeldas, the Metroids, or if they're like two or three bucks on the eShop, then I snagged them up, especially Super Metroid, when it came out for 99 cents. That was an awesome deal. And I don't think Nintendo's going to fall by the wayside anytime soon, mainly because they're a very creative company. They just have a little bit of trouble delivering their message lately of how great the Wii U is, how much you can do with it. The apps are improving, we're getting more of them. The firmware is being upgraded nicely. They're adding a lot of nice features. They're slowly working on connecting the 3DS and Wii U together. They're slowly working on unifying the accounts. I'm just hoping they make an account system soon that attaches my games to the account and not the hardware I buy this software on. 
will make it a lot easier for all of us who happen to lose our 3DS or, or someone who goes and steals our Wii U. None of which has happened to me. And I've always had great experiences with Nintendo's tech support. One, I've always gotten someone who speaks English. And two, they've always resolved my problem with efficiency and timeliness. I mean, it was really cheap to replace my original DS when I stepped on it and broke the top screen. And the fact that when I got my 3DS, I actually found a small flaw in it where the bottom screen was scratched the top screen. And Nintendo replaced that absolutely free because all I was doing was keeping it in my pocket. And they actually had to replace it twice because the first replacement they sent me actually had an issue with its street pass functionality. So it wouldn't actually street pass or it crash whenever the program tried to go into street pass. So they changed that out, got another free unit, and I've been happy with my 3DS ever since. Especially that Fire Emblem game. Whew, that's a good game. Still need to finish it. Well, those are my thoughts on Nintendo. Have a nice day. And I hope to speak with you all soon.